Okay, that looks good. Nice. Recently, I built a shed, and as I've been working on the shed, instead of lugging around power cables and extension cords, I decided that I would use only portable power stations. And this Van Powers portable power station is one that I have been using and enjoying very much. This is the Van Powers AC10. It's a 600 watt portable power station. Van Powers sent this to me to do this review. I've used a bunch of portable power stations, and I honestly think this is one of the better ones. While it's not the most powerful portable power station I have, at 600 watts it is still pretty high and I can use this for most of the things that I need to do. There's also a couple things about this portable power station that make it fairly unique that I'll talk about later on in this video. Overall the design is pretty similar to other portable power stations you might see. It has DC input and output as well as car input. It has power for USB devices as well as AC. It also has a light bar built into it, and it has a port for connecting to an extra battery for increased storage. Perhaps the most unique thing about this is it has a port for a jumper cable for if your car won't start. The display shows the current capacity and time remaining till empty at the current usage, or it will show the amount remaining until full at the current charge rate. The display also shows what power option you're using, whether it's DC, USB, or AC. The display itself is not too fancy or bright, but of the portable power stations I've tried, the information on this is one of the more useful. At 600 watts, this is powerful enough to do most of the basic things, but also things that do take quite a bit of power. For example, I will use this to turn on my vacuum in the shed. I also have a handsaw and a cable saw, and it works just fine with all of these. When I plug this into my solar panel, it charges great. When this portable power station's at about 60%, it will take me about three to four hours charging with a single solar power to get back up to 100%. One of the coolest things about this portable power station is that it does have the ability to jump a car. Here is a video I took when the battery on our minivan died. All right, so looks like one of the boys left the door open, let's see. Here, clamp this. Is that on? Ah, green for go. Let's get back in. Yeah. Didn't press the boost. We'll see if this works anyway. Nice. Work. So going over some of the pros and cons of this portable power station, let me start out with some of the things that I think have room for improvement. For one, the display over time, it's kind of degraded a bit. There's some parts of the display that don't show up very well. It's not super bright. This is something I'd like to see be improved. The other thing that I think could use some improvement is the max input. The max input for this is 65 watt, which really is not too high. I actually tried charging this with two solar panels put together, thinking that I could charge it faster, but the input was too high, so it just didn't charge at all. So the charge times for this portable power station are a bit slower than some of the other portable power stations that I have. So what I like about this portable power station, as I just mentioned with my two solar panels, it wouldn't charge at all because this has overload protection, which is a wonderful thing if it didn't have that overload protection. When I plugged in my solar panels, this would have fried. I've actually done that before on some different portable power stations that didn't have overload protection. So this is a really valuable feature. Another really great thing about this portable power station is that the batteries it has are not lithium ion, but they're LIFEPO4 batteries, which means that the battery life or the battery cycles are going to last about four times as long as your lithium batteries. So if this is something that you expect to use for many, many years, this is the kind of battery you'll want to get on your portable power station. Another thing I was a bit surprised that I liked with this was the light. Now, usually I think lights on portable power stations are kind of gimmicky. They're usually not that bright or useful but in this case I thought it was really nice because when I jumped my van it had that light right in front of it so it could show me illuminating the battery on the van and it's really nice to have the light in front like that and lastly I'm just really impressed that it has the feature that you can jump a car with this I've not seen this on any other portable power stations if you are one who lives in an RV or a van or travels a lot 
this is a pretty impressive feature and probably a really good reason to specifically get this portable power station. As I've been testing out portable power stations over the years, I've kind of compiled things in a spreadsheet and I'll show you that now. I've listed this Van Powers portable power station here with the price. And what I've done in this spreadsheet is I've kind of listed out all of the different features and a price that I kind of think that the feature is worth. And compared to all of the other portable power stations, this is one of the better deals that you can get. Everything on the spreadsheet in green means it's usually a pretty good deal. Everything in red means you could do better. The other thing I want to show in the spreadsheet is I've got a compatibility and a watt hour calculator. So here you could come to the compatibility calculator and let's go to the Van Powers portable power station. And here you can can see a list of items that this can run and that this can't run. So for example, an electric heater fan or an electric kettle, electric mower, these things are probably not going to work, but a lot of things like cordless drill charger, I've had no problems with curling iron, freezer, clock radio, Chromecast, all of these things you can run just fine with this Van Powers portable power station. And if you want to see how long you can run things for, you can come over here and you can look up something that you want to run with this and you can see for how many hours you can run this for. If you think this spreadsheet would be useful for you, you can view the link below and you can come over to here and you can do file and make a copy. You could edit it yourself. So hopefully that's something you might find useful. If you have any questions about this portable power station, feel free to write a comment below. Thanks for watching.